Hello guys and welcome back to episode 4 of our Aston Villa career mode. Last episode we played the first few games and today we want to play the next tier ones. And last episode we made a transfer with Lozano and hopefully today we can make the transfer of Mois. But the thing I want to talk about is this. Um, I always talked that in the, in the basically between Friday and Saturday I for, uh, or Sunday. Wait. Friday after I recorded an episode and Monday after I recorded again an episode something changed. Because the quality, especially the replays, got a lot worse. But it's not only for me that case, but also for other guys. Do you have the same problem? Does it look not that nice for you, not that smooth? Because it could be um, because of my um, new screen. I got a new screen and normally it should not be a problem. The steering thing should not be a problem, but I f could be that I have some tearing problems, whatever. Should not be the case, especially because if I play with my PlayStation, then there is no reason for it. Because in the end, PlayStation gives one uh, 60 FPS, and my um, uh, basically my screen is 60 Hz, so there shouldn't be a problem. But for example, if I play online, I want to play with much more than 60 FPS, then we, I have sometimes problems. But I think I could probably solve them. It's not really a huge problem. So I really want to ask you: Do you have these problems as well? Because I have the problems and I'm very sure that these problems will exist because uh, not only for me But just to make sure I really want to ask you tell me if you have the same kind of problems Do I want to play with my second choice quad? Uh, I could really I mean I'm very unsure but I don't really want to play with my second choice quad So I actually think I will simulate this game, but I d I'm really unsure if I should simulate it or not but I think I will... I, yeah, I think I will actually... Let me have a quick look. I think I will do it like this. I will simulate the game against Huddersfield. I will play against Derby County with my first choice squad. Simulate the cup game. Play against Bristol City with my first choice squad. Yeah, I think this makes actually sense. So yeah, I will simulate this game. I told you I will not simulate a lot of games. But my second choice squad is not that interesting yet for me. And um, yeah, I think it's just okay if I simulate this game real quick. So let's hopefully get a win. Would be the first win. I will take... I uh, don't really want to take a tour. Pulisic is scoring the goal really nice, 3-2-1, and we do win 3-2, um, let me uh, let me think, okay, they, so what also, yeah, they got the equalizer, and actually we're winning 2-1, but are you with a penalty and a late goal by our right back delayed, or have you say that, we did get a comeback after they got a comeback, we did win the game, so we are now at 5 points after 3 games. And therefore on 7th place, I think that is a good start. We got a 1 year loan offer for Chibola, I don't care about this guy, just wanted to sell him, but I cannot sell him, so yeah, I loan him out um, for me, basically. The big difference is just that I can save the wage. Here we can have a quick look at the stats Jordan, from Jordan Morris, he has decent pace, decent um, physical stats, aggression is okay, we don't really need it, tank position is not the most amazing one. Ah, I mean, he is not amazing, yeah, he is really not amazing, I actually expected more, I didn't really expect a lot, yes, but I expected more after I saw that he has a value of 3.7 million pounds, if he has a value of 3.7, then I expected something else than this, I expected a 72, 73 rated player, but okay, it's still decent, I still would go for him. Uh, no, I just don't understand. I mean, every other team is reacting so um, uh, basically immediately one day after the uh, after I made an offer. They are not reacting. They are just not reacting. Maybe now I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, no, <laughs> they still don't react. Right now, first choice squad against Derby Country. We started off with Derby County. I always say country. Um, it's I'm it's wrong. I'm sorry. County, of course. Um, your task is to tell me if you see any kind of tearing or anything weird, especially in the replays, that the ball is not looking that normal. It's looking a bit transparent, from, in my opinion. So just check that. If you have this kind of problems, then please tell me. So if I see now, for example, I pass it around, the ball is normal. I don't see a difference. But okay, that, yeah, I didn't um, concentrate there. But I pass it around now for a few times, or now everything seems normal. The, the player movements, the ball, there isn't a problem. I don't see it. Now I really concentrate. Okay, now I have to concentrate really fast. Yeah, I should have concentrated. What is going on in this league? How often do I have to tell you? Every time. I mean, what is actually going on? Even the Bundesliga teams are way worse than these. And now I see the replay. And now I see the replay here. The re it's really looking so bad. So right now, I saw it in the game, nothing. I see the replay 
and it looked extremely bad. So just please tell me in the comments if you have these problems as well. Again, perfect pass, another perfect pass. Lafon somehow really lucky they saved it, but I mean, th this is I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm actually really surprised. I'm 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 speechless almost. I really don't know what to say about this, or I I, I don't know. It's very confusing, but because they're playing like with the best teams in the world and I'm in the second league, I don't have an amazing team yet, so I, I have to win the league, but I feel like I have the worst team in the league yet. Come on, Lozano, use your pace, use your 90 spin speed, 90 acceleration stuff. Koji in the middle, not the best one, but he has the space. I don't know why he touched it. He did not shoot straight away. It's what I wanted, but I don't care. Some space for Lozano, amazing guy, again this problem, the ball is just not looking decent. Kojia scores another one, okay, decent, 70 minutes played, again two goals. I feel like an F, I feel like you can really see a lot of goals in, in this series. I mean, the first uh, two games we saw eight, uh, 10 goals in total, now we see two after 70 minutes again, this is crazy. And the game I simulated was a free to win, the other game I simulated was a free all and penalties. There are so many goals in this series. Another shot. For one moment I thought it's in. Okay, I got deflected or got it actually saved by Lofon. I don't actually know what happened there. But it didn't really look like anybody touched it. But um, somehow it did. Maybe Lafon actually saved that. So it would, maybe it was another amazing shot and Lafon just saved it somehow. This is crazy. What? <sighs> Unbelievable. 25 minutes played. 2-1 for them. The game stopped. Amavi is injured. Okay. Don't know what happened to him. Sisoko in. Amavi is injured. Hopefully not for a long time because he is one of my favorite players yet in this series. And of course he's also on the thumbnail. Um, I mean we actually had a counter-attack. They had an um, attack. We had a counter-attack. A lot of space actually. It was like 2 against 2. Kojia and Lozano against uh, two defenders and then suddenly it stopped and uh, Amavi is injured. Don't ask me what happened to him. Come on guys. Ah, bad one, are you? Get it out to Kojia, nice Kojia, please! Oh, you have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Amazing shot first. Of course the cross by another amazing shot and Liveth has got him ass, he's blocking that shot. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Stadera, good cross. Please, yes. Oh, of course, some kind of defender has to somehow block it. We don't deserve to lose this game. I just, I don't understand how we are losing this game. We are definitely a better team. We are just unlucky as well. Maybe now another header, another crossbar. You have to be fucking kidding me. Oh, how are we losing this game? It's so not deserved. It's not like we have, of course, Blackman. Of course, he has to um, has to have the name Blackman passing it. And they, oh, if they would have scored, I would have quit this game, man. Please let us at least get a draw. I mean, what? Please, we don't deserve to lose. Keep going. There's a good attack. Pass it to Vera two. Put it in the middle, but I will cut inside Vera two. No, I fall. It's in for the third time in the row. I'm not able to win this squad, and we almost considered another one. What is actually going on? We lose every goddamn challenge. It's unbelievable. Our passing is not good and we lose every challenge. We lost. We lost. We started off with one win in four games. Look at the amount of shots and shots and target they had. One win in four games and the, this was the only ga uh, game I haven't played. What is actually going on? If I keep playing like this, I might actually get fired and then we have a problem. Because then I have to think what I'm supposed to do with this career mode. God damn it, venture rating has gone up to 81 again, but this is not working. Oh my god, they actually accepted. What is actually going on? We have an injury for three months, Amavi. Three months. God damn it. Now I, now I actually have to think about getting another left back, but I don't need a left I uh, don't have the money. We did something as well. What is actually going on? Okay, we did, um, uh, we earned already 10.2. Why would, I don't understand these kind of things. They give me the goal to earn a, decent, a certain amount of money throughout the whole season. And then after three, uh, four league games, we are still in the first month, where, um, not even finished with the first month of the whole season. And we already did it. That doesn't really make sense in my opinion. But okay, we did it. 
happy about that. Mom, I don't know what to do with the left back position yet. And um, they finally accept that he just wants 7k. Let's please go through this deal quickly now. Um, give him squad rotation play. He should accept us with a 70 rating. And please just don't take an, another week to got him just accept this contract. Well, now let's simulate this game against Cheltenham. Um, I don't know what if things are getting handled differently in the USA, but it's been 3-4 days now, I think, since I made the contact offer. And every other player just reacts one day afterwards and he just still didn't react. Um, again, I told you I don't care about the cup last time. It was a 3 or 2 6 goals again and the end we won in penalties because of um, Sanderos going 2 goals and saving us. This time 3 to 1 and we just see 3 goals with um, Sissoko scoring, Chester getting injured, they make an equalizer, are you scoring, they're getting red cards, so hopefully Chester is not injured for long, we don't need another huge injury. Also Morris finally accepted, he is injured for 2 months as well, what is this? What is going on? How many injuries do you want to give us? First of all, Jordan Morris, finally he is in our club, you can see we don't have anyone left, but we still have... I want 3 million in the wage budget, because 60,000 um, pounds is more or less 3 million pounds. Um, I will look at the left backs, I am scouting them, I still have to make my decision, but I think I will make my decision until the next game. But first of all, you saw already the stats. Finally, Jordan Moose is here and finally I can put him in my second choice squad. So because I don't really look for another signing, I think now it's time for me to change the kit numbers. Also, I have another look at the tactics. Um, some things just didn't work out, so I'm thinking about changing them, but I don't know how exactly. Um, so let's go down with the equation a bit to like even a lot to like 45. Team with down to 35. Pressure still at 55. I will try it like this for now. We got a transfer offer for sellers and I will just accept this, I just want to sell this guy. There you go, he left us, um, it's some kind of money. And also we got a transfer offer for Jelenak and Derby County wants to loan them out. Perfectly fine, you can see the wages from 66 to 104. That means he earns 38k per week. Definitely want to save the wage, he will go loan there for one year and whenever he's back, I will just try to, loan, uh, to sell him. I don't need him and I will never use him. So in my left back position, um, there were five guys. Um, Benjamin Hinrichs was not too interesting for me as well as I forgot the other guy. Um, Joe Gomez, I also decided not to go for him because he's not too interesting. So I will decide between these two Italian people. Federico Mattiello and Antonio Barreca. As you can see, Antonio Barreca has amazing pace, decent mental stats. I'm not sure how exact, his ball control, tripling, crossing is also decent, his um, tackling depends if it's 61, 65, 65, not that good, 67, 6, uh, 71, 71, I would take that. So definitely an interesting guy, he would all, yeah, he would kind of be on the level of um, Rico Henry, he's more or less exactly like Rico Henry. We have Federico, uh, Federico Marcello who has also decent um, physical sets, of course, it's not that fast also, his stamina is quite okay. Many sets are worse, but Bogen Tunnel Tripling crossing defending is a lot better. So he has just amazing defending um, skills and stuff. He is extremely fast, but it's not that good. I decided I will go with this guy because he has decent enough pace. If he would have really bad pace, maybe not, but he has decent enough pace. So I will loan out Matiello, I think. I think he wants a lot more. We can check that. Barreca, though, I will definitely... Leave him on my shortlist because he is a really interesting player. As you can see, um, Barreca wants 16.5 and Marcelo wants yeah, 33. He wants a lot more and I feel like he will be um, very high rated. So I will not loan out Barreca, but I will put him on my shortlist. Really interesting guy. Um, I will go for them myself. I'm not too interesting, but Federico Marcelo from Juventus. Really interesting player they have there. I think he will be like... Um, 73, 74 rated, I think that's what I expect at least. And um, if he has at least a kind of decent rating, then I will put him straight away in my squad and straight away play with him in today's game. He is just 72 rated, I mean still decent. Um, decent pace, 79, acceleration, spin speed and stamina. Um, and yeah, decent defending. So I think decent player left mid, uh, uh, medium, medium, sorry, and can play as right back as well. Forster weak foot, definitely an interesting player, definitely better than um, goddamn Sissoko. So Sissoko will again just be on the bench. And Marcelo will be my first choice left back for the next 
two three months until uh, Amavi is back and then I will use him as backup and then I will think about if I uh, um, end the loan or if I sell Sisoku, whatever I will do. But I think this is enough talking for now. We will now go into the last game of today's episode, the last game in this month, the last game before the transfer deadline day against Bristol City away. I've played three games of this squad yet and as you guys know I still was not able to win one, two draws and one loss. We changed the team a little bit, um, especially with the new left back. But he is worse than Amavi. I changed the tactics. I hope things, especially the defense, will work out a bit, a lot better. Because the attack, as you can see, is working. We almost every game we're scoring two, three, or four goals. We're scoring a lot of goals. Two goals in the first game, three goals in the second game. Last time we scored also at least one goal. We are really unlucky a few times. So it could have been two, three goals again. The attack is working. We are scoring goals. We are creating chances. The big problem we have is our defense because we are conceding way too many chances. We are so far away on ke keeping a clean sheet right, uh, right now and this is a problem. This is something we really have to change. Come on, Lozano make the one, the long ball. Yes, Lozano. Good touch. Lozano! Good first chance. Goalkeeper can save it. Come on, Lozano. Lozano and Kojia, these two work perfectly together. Kojia, I didn't really like him before I signed them, um, Lozano. But since I'm playing with these two together, they work so amazingly together. Yeah, Jordan Ayu is doing okay, but really not amazing. Um, our McCormack is doing really decent. But these two together make, uh, are just working perfectly. It's, it, it feels like they played together for 10 years already. They just work together. It's just perfect. Every time I have a ball with one of them, the other guy is already there. And I can make the po perfect passes. Now Koji in the middle, cross inside. This time not the perfect cross, but you see, these two are just working. It's amazing. It's a lot of fun to use these two. Let's see. Decent position. We have Standera. I think he is the best one. Is he still the best one? Uh, we have somebody else with 78. McCormack. Uh, I think still Standera is just a little bit better. So let's see. Last year I scored a lot of free kicks with that guy. This year we start off by scoring a free kick. First free kick with Mark Standera. Boom. Goal. I love this kid. He is just the perfect penalty taker, uh, free kick taker. Look at how perfect it is as well. Somehow through the four people there. Again, the free play just looks awful. No chance for that goalkeeper. Mark Richards. What am I actually Who am I actually talking about? These names. I'm talking shit. Nothing else. But yeah. Shandera scores it. Nice. What a way to start off um, this game. Early goal again. Oh, Shandera makes the run. The ball is decent. Shandera headed to Ayu. Really nice header. Ayu with the chance. Good save. Can Lo oh, Lozano cannot get the ball. Really decent attack there. Again. Lozano. The one from uh, Ayu. Ayu. Good first touch. Short post. Tunnel. 40 minutes played. Finally things, uh, things are working. I think the change of the formation maybe, uh, of the tactics, maybe this is the reason. But now not only our attack is working, but yet our defense is doing a great job. We are winning the tackles. They don't have a chance to really get through. And yeah, at the moment, 2-0 uh, would be really decent if we can get that into half time. Oh, they might actually have a chance. Interesting pass there. Don't know what that was, but I mean, they still have the ball. They're still in our box. We have to defend them. Decent save by Lafont. We can get it out. So first huge chance um, for them basically in the second half. There are just a bit more than 20 minutes to go through. We're not doing a lot anymore, but I'm really concentrating on not conceding another chance for them, but not good enough. Gonna bring on Vera too. Gonna also bring on um, uh, Pulisic and Morris. I mean, to know, I think it's a good, um, uh, good situation basically to just try out the new guy. That was almost a mistake. Um, try out Morris. Let's see, Emmanuel said he is a decent talent, he's one of the biggest talents for his club, or the club um, he is supporting, or his, his um, local club, I, I can't remember. He has a decent potential, some all weight stats, let's see if I if I like to play with him, but first of all let's defend this, another long shot, what the long shot as well, but somehow we still have the clean sheet. Morris, come on, show me what you can do. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Oh wait, he is still going, Morris. Pulisic not with the decent position. Morris had the chance, actually. I think I should have gone with short post. But um, I thought maybe he can do it. So Morris had actually a chance to score in this first game. We still have the corner, another decent one. Um, the ref should blow the whistle every second. So we did win the game. I just want to see if I can maybe do something great here with Pulisic or with Morris. Pulisic, can he cross it in? Yeah, Morris, Morris is just not reacting at all. 
Game over. Moles had the chances for sure there to score a goal. Easy tunnel win. First half we played amazing. Second half we just kept the tunnel. We didn't play that whiskey anymore. And in the end, I did win. Tunnel, amazing performance. And this will help us a lot in the table. Lafont and Oxford are both going up. Lafont is 78 rated. I will stop training him now. I just want to get him to a 78 rating. As you can see, 8 points after 5 games is not amazing, but I think it's decent. Um, let's see, the first place is at 15. It's actually Derby County. Wow, 15 points. They want us to win the league. For me, my goal is... I mean, depends. Because there isn't really a di big difference between 3rd and 6th place here. So, the, you can only have like... I mean, I think my goal has to be to get second place at least, to first or second place. We are just three points behind second, um, that is decent, but already seven points behind first, so I really have to hope that Derby County will not keep this form. In every transfer window, every is, uh, career mode, sorry, in every career mode, in the first transfer window, uh, Martinez is leaving Bayern. Sometimes to Barcelona, sometimes to Arsenal, I saw him at Man United as well. He always leaves Bayern. Icardi going to Wolfsburg and Ericsson to um, Real Madrid, so some interesting signings here um, and yeah, let's just see if there's anything else happening in this transfer deadline day. Chabalala, what a name. Mesut Özil going to Bayern as always. I mean, it's quite realistic, This something like this could happen in real life as well, but I mean, in uh, FIFA it's always working. This Nguyen guy has with, uh, this look at his hair and then look as, at this badge of his club. It just per works perfectly. Last hour we will start end with 304 million because Malonas is going to uh, FC Barcelona. Something I think could happen in real life as well. Glossaman gone up once to a 73 rating. I think himself, but I'm not sure. Of course I'm training him, but I think he just did it himself as well. Improving some stats, really nice. With Marcelo gone up already, improving a lot of stats. Physical stats are going up. Um, Stamina, acceleration, and speed all above 80 now, or at least 80. Also some defending skills, so some nice curve. If he actually can curve a lot, really interesting player. Somebody I definitely have to, um, yeah, definitely have to look um, a bit closer in the next um, like six to uh, 12 months, just to see if I would like to use him. Because if so, definitely somebody I'm looking to maybe even sign after this season. Ruben Neves also going up once, improving a lot of stats, now 76 rated. Jordan Ayew improving some stats, but not gone up yet, but I think it's not, um, it will happen. Lozano gone up once already to the 77 rating, improving some kind of stats. Finishing gone up, really nice to see that. Christian Pulisic, of course, with quite some growth, he gone up to the 70 rating. Moore's already gone up with some decent growth. I mean, strength plus two, yeah, but um, finishing plus one, heading plus two, really nice. Long shots also plus one, gone up to the 71 rating. Beretou gone up, improving his finishing three times, why? Gardner gone up once, uh, improving some set 69 rated. Chester gone up once, even though he's injured, hopefully again the injury will not be too bad, but he is now 75 rated. Guys, this is it with today's episode, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm not very unsure how long this is because I recorded for quite some time, but I did a lot of transfers and stuff as well, so who knows. I still hope, or not still, but I definitely hope you enjoyed this episode, if so please smash the like button, if not then as always tell me why not. Um, yeah, have an amazing day guys, I will see you tomorrow. And bye.